mean, this isn't a celebration by any means, it's an invigoration. Just want everybody to come up and keep a positive message going out. Um, I think more so from the media, we're getting this thing as if it's it's all becoming a bit negative and I'm not, that's not what I'm seeing in the streets. There's, there's a lot of kids here, a lot of happy people, a lot of no voters and stuff. So we just want to keep show everybody that we're, we're in this together and then we're doing it in the right way. I mean, it's it's been a democratic revolution, it's been phenomenal. Last night, Westminster agreed on further devolution and that they committed to it. Again, mate, I know we're not being fooled by this. I mean, at first, it was a, they didn't want it on the ballot pair, they didn't want Devo Max. Uh, and then there was a promise of probably then a guarantee and why on earth would they do it two days before the election they're panicking and we won't be bribed like this again we're not we want all the power not just some of it and again they can't even tell us what these powers have they've had two years to deliver this two years I actually think it's undemocratic what they're doing people have already voted and they still couldn't tell people what they're getting it's just panic stations and we're not we're not being fooled this thing I mean you know I don't see myself as a nationalist I'm a democrat I want a government that we vote for every single time a government we can hold accountable and that's why I think the, the stance of the Labour Party in this has been ridiculous because they we support them every single election and they can't even support us for this one because uh, again by the looks of it next year the Tories will come back and we'll vote Labour again up here in our general election and they might be out again so I mean how are we supposed to live with that it's not right.